Hello everyone. Today I am going to be showing the LumaShare offline QR code, which allows you to share your photos or videos from Luma booth or DSLR booth uh, being sent to your LumaShare device. You do require an, a router and this can be done with no internet connection. The router just creates a local Wi-Fi network and as we can see here uh, I am connected with both devices and both devices are showing that there's no internet. In the setup here today I'm using the travel router that I suggest. This is a TP link. I have this in other videos on how to set it up. This is going to be my LumaBooth device. This is going to be my LumaShare device. And this is going to be the phone as if it were a guest. So starting out as we said router I'm connected to a battery pack uh, just because that's how my 360 events usually are set. We're going to start our Luma Booth session first. So we're going to come here, get out of that, start Luma Booth. And I had it open so it went right to the event. Typically you go to a welcome screen. Um, but that's where we're at. This is just a test event. Now, I use this default screen for my Luma Booth events. Uh, just because I started doing that when I was casting the recording screen to an external screen. Uh, that's what the guests would see on the external screen when there was no, no one on the booth. So the Luma booth is ready to go. And now we are going to go to Luma Share. And we're going to restart this just because I had it already, already had it open. So this is starting from fresh. So connects sees our device and our event so we're going to select that now it's going to pull up a couple just because I had done a couple tests here uh, but we're going to go ahead and look over the settings here so the main one we're looking at is our sharing settings the big updates here they added the whatsapp sharing and the one we're going over today is the QR code offline QR code so you have your standard QR code here. This would give you the link to the photo share cloud. But if your internet's not, not doing too well or you're uh, having delays with the files getting uploaded, you can simply turn that off and turn this on and set up your offline QR code. So the setup here is it's going to ask you, obviously, the text that you want to say, but the important things are your Wi-Fi network gives you the button to use your current and it does that and then you got to enter your password because this will actually allow the guests to connect directly to your Wi-Fi so once you have that in you are ready to go always make sure that you have the correct display type for what kind of event you're doing today we're going to be doing boomerang but this does work with standard pictures if you are using DSLR booth or Luma booth as a regular picture booth. And so we're set to Boomerang. And we are going to launch this event. So as I said, I've got a couple tests here from when I was playing around. But we're going to go ahead and start a new session. Now on my display screen, there is the button here, but I have it colored black so you don't actually see it. But it's right about there. So that's going to go ahead and do a 360 boomerang. And as it processes that, we can see that it's making the file. I don't have any music or overlays or anything like that special. And I also have my share screen on my Luma Booth device set to very short, uh, just because I usually have my motion set to uh, start the recording that makes it faster for the next person to be available. So as that file gets sent over to the network, we should see that there it is on the Luma Booth, Luma Share device. And so guests could click here and well, there's no motion because I didn't move anything, uh, but this is our video. We have, I have right now email and SMS sharing, which it would store those if you had no internet. But the big ones here is our scan QR code. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And it gives us the option now 
to allow the guests to join our Wi-Fi network and then scan the QR code. So with our camera device, we're going to scan to join the Wi-Fi network. And we are now connected and it says no internet and that's fine. Some people, their phone may give them a hassle because they don't like to be connected to no internet. So they might just have to change some settings on their own device. Uh, my, my device isn't doing that, but I've seen other phones that do. But then they can come in and now we're going to make sure that we scan the correct QR code right here. And here it comes. And there it is. It's just that fast. So now they can save their file right from here. They can view it and they can save it. Obviously saving options are going to depend on their phone and device, um, but it's all right there. And that's it. That is the process. So one, one thing I noticed for troubleshooting is if your devices are connected to another network, when you start LumaShare or LumaBooth, uh, the IP address may not be correct. So the main thing there, you want to make sure that you start your router, get your wife, your devices connected to your Wi-Fi network, and then start LumaBooth and LumaShare. Uh, typically starting LumaBooth first is the way to go, and then connecting LumaShare. So if you have any questions, uh, just let me know, and I'm happy to answer any questions, but that is the new feature, offline QR code sharing. Thank you.